All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for having me. Another big round of applause for Mr. Franco Mamanta, please. The man, he's the man, man. Hi, good afternoon, everybody, and I have amazing news for you guys. Um, you know, usually these switches and everything are a tad awkward, but I have great news. I come bearing gifts. You guys, you guys like that? You happy about that? Yeah, awesome. Of course, from our friends from Timex. Now, if you guys want to get a chance to win some prizes from our official timekeeper, Timex, in order to win, all you have to do is pay attention to this video. Roll the video, please. All right, let's give it up one more time for Tippy and Anthony Go, also known as Tipsy and Tongo. The googly gooeys, and I have to say, if you guys could get a recording of that and just watch it over and over again, this would really, really help your blog. And one thing I'm sure you guys noticed this as well, is that they really, really drove home the point of passion in your work. You really have to make sure that every single frame you put your heart out into it, correct? And you connect to all of your followers at a more human level. It's amazing stuff. Now, we've all heard about how we can attract and make advertising effective in social media by coming up with a compelling social media proposal. But now, now we have the tools and ideas on how to do this. The next challenge is how to stand out in this vast jungle, okay, of blogs and websites online. And also, basically, how to get more traffic. Everybody wants more traffic, right, for their sites. Not on the inside, that, that sucks. It's important to stand out because this is one of the advertiser's gauges if investing in your website is worth it or not. Of course, if you have increased traffic to your blog, chances are advertisers will hit the eyeballs that they desire with your site. Now today, to help us give tips on ideas and how you can increase the number of visitors and drive traffic to your website or blog using social media is a renowned fashion and lifestyle blogger who started her writing career back in 2004 penning finance and investment articles for Lifestyle Asia, okay? Now she has since expanded her writing repertoire to a range of topics close to her heart. That being fashion as well as parenting. Oh, so all, for all the parents out here, this should be very interesting as well. She contributes lifestyle stories to various publications across Southeast Asia while writing for the Philippine Star as well. Let's all give a warm welcome to Miss Christine Di Chow. I found that very interesting actually that she said that 21% uh, you get 21% higher uh, views on your Twitter if you're under 100 characters. Okay, because we thought that 160, 140 was already, you know, really, really cut down. 100. Okay, so we have to work on it. Okay, now uh, just to recap, it's not enough that we get the massive following that we desire for our blogs and websites with the number of competitors that are out there, of course. Especially in the online world, uh, we have to maintain the interest of our community and still continue to drive traffic to our blogs. Not that stuff. This is the way we can invite and entice advertisers to partner up with us and our respective blogs. And not only that, we also need to create a compelling package or proposal that uh, we can offer to advertisers to engage them and partner up with our lovely websites, of course. Thanks to all of our speakers for their insight and knowledge. And now, moment you guys have all been waiting for, it's time for Q&A. Okay, one thing you guys need to know about LSDC Street, okay, is that these guys put an amazing amount of passion into every single performance. Earlier in Legopolis 2013, you had different bloggers talking about how you're supposed to have a lot of passion in every single frame and all that. These guys, every single move, all the competitions. Another big round of applause, please, for LSDC Street. Seriously, electrifying people. Hello again, my name is Justin Camino from 89.5 Play FM, and it's my job to make sure you guys are entertained until we get the rest of the program underway. But right now, before we move on with anything else, we must proceed, before we proceed to the awarding, let me first call on stage top tech blogger of Yugatech.com and country manager for Nafnan Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know this guy, Mr. Abe Olandres. <laughs> <laughs> 